Let's explore API monitoring in Postman. I'm logged into Postman here and I already have a collection with a few requests in it. I've already written meaningful tests to describe this user workflow and now I want to run my collection. There's a few ways to run a collection in Postman. The first way is in the Postman app using the runner. The second way is from your command line using Newman. And the third way, which we'll go over in this video, is scheduling an API monitor to run from Postman Cloud. Let me show you how to set that up. If you go to the overflow menu of the collection that you want to monitor, select monitor collection. Let's give it a name. And I'll run the monitor for this current version, but if I have multiple versions of my collection, I can go ahead and schedule multiple monitors. I'm not using an environment in this case. And let's schedule the frequency of the monitor. You can run it as frequently as every five minutes, but for this particular user workflow, I don't need to run it that often. I think I'll probably run it every weekday. And if anything fails, I don't wanna get woken up at midnight. So let's go ahead and update this to, let's say 8 a.m. And Postman will automatically select the region with which they'll run this monitor from based on where I'm located. But if I wanna manually select a region, like say my customers are all in Asia Pacific, let's go ahead and set up our monitor there. Or we also have some folks in Latin America. Latin America. So now I've set up my monitor to run in two regions. And some people ask if uh, Postman can run monitors behind a virtual private network. For, I think it's business and enterprise users, you have access to static IP here. So this is again for business and enterprise users, you can designate a, um, or designate a dedicated IP address from which Postman will run their monitors from so that you can whitelist traffic coming in from those um, IP addresses. But let's just go ahead and run our collection, run our schedule our monitor to run in two regions. I'm gonna leave this checked here, receive email notifications for run failures and errors. So if I have any failed tests um, that result in my monitor, Postman will send me an email notification for that and I want that. And a few other configuration options here. So I'm not gonna hit create because I've already created a monitor and run it a few times. So I will X out of here. And if I select the tab on the left called monitors, here is that monitor that I've set up earlier and that I've run a few times. So I can scan some information and I can actually filter by certain types of requests. But if I'm like, why is the response time going up? I did not expect it to do that. Let's go ahead and select that monitor run and keep scrolling down. If you've ever used the collection runner in the Postman app before, this looks very familiar. Here's a list of all of our network calls that were run as part of that collection run, and also the tests that are either passing or failing. So I can filter on past tests, failed tests, but I am a genius and I have no failed tests. But um, say something looked a little weird or there was some unexpected behavior with my monitor. Look at this second tab here, console log. This is the log, um, this is the console for monitors. So this is where I can go and debug and drill down a little bit deeper and see what's happening with my monitors. So this console is different than the main Postman app console, which is down here on the bottom left. One more thing I wanted to talk about is integrations. So it's fantastic if you're learning about API monitoring from Postman, but chances are you're using some other tools. So let's go to the Home tab. And on the side, let's select Integrations. I have two integrations set up. One of them is actually with PagerDuty. So here I am posting my monitoring results from a different collection. And if there's any failures or any tests that fail in that monitor run, PagerDuty will notify me. So let's go back to the integrations um, and let's see what all there is. So if there's limited integration, so depending on the Postman plan you're on, you might have limited integrations. If you're not able to, say you use New Relic and you wanna hook that up, but the plan you're on, you're filled up with integrations, you can always use the Postman API to roll your own. 
So the Postman API, you have API access to all of your Postman data, like your collections, environments, and all that kind of stuff. You also can create Postman monitors and run Postman monitors using the Postman API. So check that out and let us know how you're using API monitors.